Hello and welcome to Sailing Magic. My name is Duke and I am Sailing Magic. Magic is a 2015 Lagoon catamaran. In this episode, I'm going to show you around some of the interesting things in the southern part of Bimini Island. One of my favorite places to go there is the Blue Water Marina. Blue Water Marina was originally the home of the Hemingway Fishing Tournament. An interesting plaque outside the door shows Joseph Accardo, the head of the Chicago Mafia, was the winner in the tuna division in 1974. Google indicates that his nickname was Big Tuna. His son was in second place. Right behind the Blue Water Marina is the remains of the Hemingway House. Not too much left there after the last couple of hurricanes. You may recall that Hemingway wrote stories about things that he had experienced. In The Old Man and the Sea, the old man catches the big blue marlin, but the sharks eat it on the way back to the shore. Uh, there's a photo on the sign for the Hemingway House that shows a blue marlin that's been eaten by the sharks. If you turn left, be sure you look right because the, the traffic is on the left side of the street. This takes you down the main street on Bimini Island. And if you look on the right, number one, there's an ATM machine right there. Number two, that takes you up to the most beautiful beach, I think, there as Radio Beach at the top of that hill. There's also four or five little shops with bars and food vendors. At the bottom of that hill, if you continue to go straight, you'll pass by the straw market. And then continuing on on the left side of that street is the ferry that goes over to South Bimini Island. It's a very short ride just across that channel. Keep going straight and Freddy has his propane truck there if your boat needs propane. Then on the right, there's a road that goes up the hill go up that hill past a little cemetery and one of the hidden little treasures is this shipwreck that's right on the shore it's a very rocky shore right there but at low tide you can see quite a bit of that shipwreck I recently bought a new outboard for my dinghy and today's project is to install two dole fins these are a uh, hard plastic that goes on the cavitation plate of the outboard and gets you up on plane faster and gives you better gas mileage as a result. To do it, it's fairly simple. I need a quarter inch drill bit and drill, an 11 millimeter socket and socket wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver of some sort. So let's get to it. Now those two fins go onto the cavitation plate here. So the first thing that I need to do is slide the fin over the cavitation plate. Then I'm gonna drill just some marks so I can see where it needs to go. In theory, you could just drill all the way through with the fin in place. However, if you do that, it's going to get metal underneath the plastic and then you will potentially weaken the plastic. The instructions tell you to definitely take the fin off and get the plastic out of there. I mean the metal out of the plastic. Then once you get the holes drilled, slide the fin back on. up the holes as well as you can. Now it would seem, or at least it seemed to me, that the way to put the screws in would be to push the screw in from the top. But the way the recessed part is, the recessed part is on the top. The nut sticks out much farther than the screw head 
so I think it's really intended to have the nut go on top screw head on the bottom so that there's less turbulence caused by the nut going through the water and get both of those in there put the washer on top put the nut on there Tighten the whole thing down. Now the two bolts are mounted tight and they're just barely above the surface of the plastic here. So I think that's the right way to do it. And then when you're all done, you have a couple of bolts set in nicely and you have dual fins on the back that will get your boat on plane faster. I should mention that sometimes there's jellyfish in the water around Bimini, but these are moonies. They don't sting you, their stingers are too small to pe penetrate human skin. Then off for the sailor's tradition sundowners.